other towns have their horses, their pigs, their whatever. And I thought with Boykin, it's natural. These dogs don't bark, but they're definitely making some noise in Kershaw County. I just think it's a cool thing to have. It's something fun, something enjoyable. Several large Boykin Spaniel statues have appeared on Broad Street in downtown Camden, thanks to the help of Rob Brown, owner of 1011 Galleria. First of all, it's the state dog of South Carolina. Now, I don't know if everybody knows that. Brown wanted people in Camden to walk down the street and understand the significance of the Boykin Spaniel to the area. Because the Boykin Spaniel was raised right here, bred right in Boykin on Pine Grove Plantation. Big deal was that they wanted a smaller dog that he could go hunting. And so far, one has been completed and named. Wit is because Wit Boykin was the, the man that actually created the breed. So honoring him. So that's why this is, this is Wit. There is another one in downtown Camden that's not completed and four more will be installed in the coming weeks. First Street Squad in Kershaw County, I'm Walker Lawson. All right, and if this is the first time you are hearing about the Boykin Spaniel, even though I know it's not, uh, let's give you some details about the breed. It was invented, I guess you could say, during the 1900s. The Spaniel is an ideal dog for hunters. They hunt for ducks and turkeys uh, in their watery river swamp. This is file video of the Boykin Spaniel trials that were held in Camden a couple of years ago. L. W. Boykin was his name, and he was a planter and land appraiser. He lived just outside of Camden. Boykin often experimented with many breeds and were selective. Was selective when he developed the Boykin breed, and now this is known as the Boykin Spaniel. And everybody has a friend with a Boykin Spaniel. If you don't have one um, yourself, Grace Mary has mm -hmm. a Boykin Spaniel. It's just a pretty dog. It's a beautiful dog, and yeah. that fur is very soft okay even though they're a hunting dog you uh -huh. know hunting dogs are like rough and tumble right, but th right. that fur on a boykin spaniel is so soft do they shed a lot no it, when, and then they have those little tiny tails that they dock them and so the tails just like little wiggly oh, like that is really cute it's just such a pretty pretty dog i've always thought that about the boykin you spaniel you should get one i don't think i should so so what's the what's the did you guys see how quickly she changed mm -hmm. the subject um, i was like i, <laughs> I want to know what the challenge is and owning a hunting dog you have you know, to dog keep that, them busy it's a very big see, challenge that's what i was thinking you it's have be to a keep busy them busy dog. like Could, that's innately they want to go look for stuff they, and so you got to get them tired and like i have neighbors that will throw the the dead pretend duck like again and again and again and again because you got to make that dog tired or it'll tear up your house mm. and you want me to get that dog I mean, I, yeah, you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta walk them I and mean, throw the fake duck. The dog will have me tired. The dog, <laughs> <laughs> the dog will still have plenty of energy. We're too old to need that. I don't have to chase after a duck. I'm too old. <laughs>